Uh, we are going to talk about the Mancos mod. Um, the Mancos mod is made by, you'll never guess, Mancos, um, who is a Polish modder. Um, I don't I don't even think that he has his own thread that he started anywhere. Um, the closest thing that I could find was the um, was this thread on the Polish forum that I'm going to link here. So if you guys are interested in, in getting some information about the Mancos, that's where you want to go. Uh, be prepared to have your Google Translate rocking because um, it's all going to be in Polish. If you don't speak Polish, of course, uh, if you do, then you'll be just fine. Um, so this device is available in lots of different styles and finishes. You can get it with different types of uh, groove patterns on it. You can get it in stainless steel. You can get it in brass. You can get the different parts mixed, like what I did. Um, brushed, polished. Um, I don't know that he's doing satin like a media blast, but um, but but there's different engraving styles. There's different lock ring styles. Some of them are knurled. Some of them are grooved. Some of them are flat. I mean, it's very very um, customizable. Uh, I guess I'm not um, I think that the way that you order it I don't even know of a list I didn't see a list anywhere I think he keeps the list himself and you just go on to that forum send him a private message and he puts you on the list and then when it's time for him to make your mod then he contacts you um, so that's what I was told to do by a friend of mine they said hey if you want to get a Manco send this guy a PM uh, and I, I didn't see a list anywhere so that's what I did. Um, they are available. The list, whatever list there is, is still open. So uh, you can send them a PM. It's M-A-N-K-O-S uh, if you're interested in getting one of these devices. Um, the mod is approximately $200. It's not cheap. Um, that does not include shipping. Uh, it does come with... So if you're familiar with the Caravella um, and how that works... It's kind of a similar setup. The positive end, you got little pins. Uh, they're brass pins that vary in size. Uh, and they uh, will, you know, you change them out depending on uh, slight variations in the length of your battery uh, to get your atomizer, to get the, the, the coveted combination of having your atomizer sit flush and have your battery not rattle. Uh, so that's, you know, so you have the different size pins for that. I think it comes with three different size pins each. Uh, I know that I have, you know, there's four of them in here, but I've actually got two of these, um, uh, uh, Mancos mods. So, um, the tubes are available in all three sizes. One of the other really cool things about this device at least I think so, is you can get it in 22 millimeter or you can get it in 20 millimeter. So, you know, I know the 22 millimeters are super popular. The 22 millimeter atomizers are starting to get really popular. There's a lot more of them. But um, there are some really amazing atomizers out there that are 20 millimeter. And if you want to get that hybrid flush look, the 20 millimeter Mancos is going to be able to do that for you. So if you have, for example, a Hellfire Dripper or a Hellfire Mega, uh, if you have a, uh, a GKMF, um, there's a number of other 20 millimeter devices as well. And then 18s and 19s look really nice on it too. Like the Stratus 19 looks really nice on it. There's just a slight uh, indentation. Um, so anyway, I got 20s because I wanted to use it in combination with the Griffin and with the Hellfire Dripper. So, um, and that is what I'm doing right now. This is the Griffin. Now the Griffin is an 18 millimeter, so it's got a little bit of a step in, but it still, I think, looks really nice on there. So, um, Let's take this little guy apart. So first off, this, so when I first realized that this was the case with the Switch, I was like, wow, that's really cheap. But it actually works well, and you'll see what I mean, you'll see what I mean in just a second. It's actually similar to the way that the Precise Plus works. So with the, with the Switch, you have at the base, you've got the engraving that says Mancos on there, okay? It's got a nice little logo. And then you can see you've got your lock ring, 
The lock ring is very easy to um, to unlock if I turn it the right way, of course. Yeah, let me just tighten it some more there. So, and you only have to turn it a couple times to unlock it. Okay, stay focused there for me, baby. There we go. Um, it's nice and smooth. I didn't have any issues with the f with threading being dirty or anything like that. It seems to be pretty well taken care of and clean before it shipped. The um, vent hole you can see right there, and then you can see that that brass contact uh, you can unscrew that to disassemble the the um, the switch if you need to replace the the pin or um, I'm sorry, if you need to replace the uh, the spring or you want to put magnets in there or something like that. Now, what you will notice is that there is nothing preventing the battery from firing when you screw that in. There's no insulator. Now, the way that the battery is insulated, did you notice how I got a bunch of O-rings in this pack? Well, this is what you do. You take one of those O-rings and you plop it down on top of the ma on top of the battery switch like that just rest it right down on top of there say that oops and then it falls off <laughs> but you just put that on there or what I do actually I find it easier to just do it this way you put the battery in put that in there and then screw it on um, now you know, like I said, when I first saw that, I was like, well, that's kind of cheesy. Um, however, it actually works out really well in combination with the design of the positive pins because they're not telescopic. They're just the variations in size. So what that O-ring does is the, the rubber O-ring has just enough give that um, it will kind of accommodate the really, really tiny variations in between the pin sizes so um, you know if the if you have two batteries that are just slightly different in size like two IAW 18350 batteries or something like that that just have a tiny tiny variation the o-ring will prevent the battery from rattling because you can tighten it and squeeze the o-ring down a little bit further with one of the batteries than you do with the other one so it actually does work out pretty well um, the top cap is pretty it's pretty straightforward hold on a sec um, it's a t completely flat top brushed so this is really designed to be used with a rebuildable dripper or with a uh, Genesis this is not this does not have air grooves so you're not going to want to use this with a with a tank um, you're not going to want to use this with um, oh, and I have juice all over my hand you're not going to want to use this with um, um, like a 510 atomizer because there's not going to be anywhere for the uh, for the air to go, and you're not going to get any airflow. So, bear with me one moment. I'm having a difficult time getting the top cap off. Figures. Only because I do live reviews do I have these problems. Well, hell. The top cap stuck, and I'm not going to waste any time going to try to dig up some piece of some rubber glove or something to get the top cap off. But I probably screwed it down too tight. Anyway, uh, it's not terribly complicated. You have one of these pins, and I'll show you real quick. Um, you have one of these little pins, little brass pin. Now you'll notice when I show this up close. It is not threaded. It's a push pin, okay? Um, that fits into a little Delrin piece on the inside of that top cap. Okay? Um, so, like I said, you're not going to be threading this into there. Um, which, one thing I don't like about that is it doesn't give you the ability to... Um, if you wanted to say use like the GP telescoping pins in here instead of using the stock pins you wouldn't be able to do that um, I didn't check to see if the actual Delrin housing can be taken out and put the whole GP pin in with the Delrin housing as well um, I will have to look into that but it doesn't look like it's the same size so I don't think it does but it may 
Um, and since I can't get the top cap off, I can't show that to you. But anyway, like I said, just a push pin. Um, how does it vape? Well, I must say, um, I am very pleased. Hold on, I got juice on my hand. With how it vapes. Um, hits hard. It hits like it should. And. Hold on. Yeah, as you can see, um, you know, it's hitting the way that it should. It hits as hard as any other high quality mechanical mod. Um, you know, I can't notice a difference between this and like a Chiyu or, uh, uh, you know, Bare Brass Mod, Poliac, whatever. You know, I mean, there may be a tiny, tiny variation in, uh, in voltage loss. I haven't, I didn't test it. Um, you know, the best thing to do is, you know, take this, take like a 2 ohm atomizer, put it on both, check the voltage loss under load. I didn't do that, but it's fine. It hits really well. Um, it performs really well. I like the device, I have to say, uh, and I like that it's available in 20 millimeter. I think that's really cool uh, for someone that has some 20 millimeter devices and is looking for something that'll fit, sit flush with it. I think it's a good choice. Um, so, quick summary of the positives and negatives of the device. Um, I would say. Um, Functionally, it works very well. Uh, like I said, I thought that that O-ring idea was kind of cheap at first, but I realized it actually works very well in combination with the, the positive pin style. Um, you know, I would prefer uh, a, a, a seated Delrin um, insulation uh, or like a slightly raised uh, outer ring like on the Caravella or the Chiyu um, to... Uh, in combination with a telescoping positive pin, but in theory the straight pin without the telescope is going to prevent more uh, loss of, of voltage. I don't know if that actually makes that big of a difference, but uh, you know it does perform very well, so maybe there's something to be said for that. Um, I think the you know the finish on it was good. It didn't have any scratches or anything on it when I got it. It's got a, it has a really nice brush finish. I've been using it for a bit, um, so it's got some patina build up on the brass, as you can see. So you can't really tell that the finish looks really good. But um, you know, but it came without any scratches or anything. And um, yeah, and it like I said, it, it performs well. Feels nice. The button's nice and soft. It's got a very very short throw. You can see that's firing it right there. This is firing, this is not firing. Firing, not firing. You can see the vapor coming out here too. But um it is a little pricey though. Uh you know, with shipping you're looking over $200 uh which, you know, is a little high. There are, you know, you can get a nice mechanical mod for uh, significantly less than that. So, um, and purchasing it is kind of a pain in the butt since there isn't even really a list and it's not available on any websites that I'm aware of. So you need to go to the uh, the Polish forum, send a PM to Mankos, um, and then he will uh, get back in touch with you. Um, you know, when it, you know, I, I think he confirms that you're on the list and tells you what month that you're you're on the list for, and then he'll get back in touch with you to confirm your order uh, and uh, you know tell you how to pay for it. So, um, but overall, uh, I think it's a really really good device. It performs really well, uh, and I really like that you can get it in a 20 mil, uh, 20 millimeter. So, um, I definitely do recommend the Mancos, um, and. Yeah, so there you have it. That's the Mancos mod by Mancos.